got a point laying out you can see right here's this the river um, weeds seaweed like it's fresh water stuff but it washed up here it's where the water line was at and look flipped out right here it's a little tiny end scraper I already looked at the edge of it on the other side but look how small this is and it's perfect and it's the cool word effect look at this tiny little end scraper work just great all the way around it another nice little uniface tool this is cool look how little that is with the dorsal ridge running down it worked all the way around lots of micro blade technology on this site and little tools like this this is awesome later all right you can see this right here i already moved it and it's bigger than just a tiny flake this is right where i found that core and all these crooksville chert artifacts and this is crooksville chert and this is going to be if it's an artifact it's another artifact off that core which is just insane but right here see what we got and this is just going to match up right on that block i can tell you there's no yep right there it is another flake of it another flake of that core with the points and wow an other one and you can see right where it was knocked off but i might be if i keep finding these i'm going to be able to match a flake back up on that block and it's going to lay right in and it's just going to be wow tip from ten thousand years ago look at this this is a fine just in itself to go with that better than an arrowhead you see the little worn spots on it there it's the same exact material well later great find this is worth it later all right i'm back it's just a few seconds later this was right there and i flipped it and it's got damaged but man this would have been a nice preform look at it's heat treated church this stuff would have originally been tanned and it's been fired but the tip's gone that's made well i'd like to see the point that was going to become look at that material well, I'm finding stuff, and man, that flake of that Crooksville, I know it's just a flake of flint, but I have the cord and the artifacts. That's a significant find. I'm really happy that I got, came and got that. Wow. And it's another big flake. Well, anyway, I'm happy. See if I can't get anything else today, but I don't even care if I find anything else. Later. All right, here's another real big hybrid bass. That's a big one. You can see the raccoon tracks coming down to it there it's a pretty big fish anyway later all right I'm back I don't know if you can see this there's a nutting stone hole here one here one here and one here and you can see this is a really big rock it's like a big anvil or something um, got it deep it's an artifact it's a big nutter huh well anyway I just wanted to show you that see the holes in it here pretty cool but anyway, I'll get back at you later. Well, folks, I did it. This is what I've been looking for. And I walked right by this piece walking in here. And a big cabin cruiser went by. And I'd say it was exposed, but it exposed it a little better. But look at here. Oh, it's the biggest piece of pottery yet. Oh, it's off that pot. Oh man, this is just awesome. And I got two pieces of it yesterday. I didn't film them because they're just, they're pieces like this big, but I got three more pieces and I also got two more pieces of that core flake laying out here. Oh, this is a good one. I'm probably gonna be able to get, you can see how the bowl kind of starts to flare to, out here towards the tip and it flares out towards the bottom. This is right up in starting on the rim you can see it there the rim would have probably been right up and then started turning out would have come up and went this way up to the rim of the pot so i can draw this now or recreate one i could recreate this that's just beautiful another huge this is the biggest piece so far so oh man with all the other i'm getting like a whole pot almost later i'm not looking for stuff um I mean, that's a big sucker fish. I haven't seen one that big for a while. Look how big that thing is. I have a big foot. That's a big one, man. Later. All right, here's all my pots so far. This was the last biggest piece. The piece today I found laying out. And I got these two, or these two pieces up here since 
I've seen the videos before, so I got a good bit of it. And it's a small pot. And with this piece today, I have a picture in my head of what it's going to look like. So I can actually make another one, which I can do just like they did it. Or I'm going to draw it. I haven't decided yet. It's a long process going through this, and I have to make a fire pit in the ground and all kinds of stuff and do it just like the Indians did. But I might do that because I don't find a lot of pottery, and this is 10,000 year old pieces of a pot from the Amos culture. It's unheard of to find this many pieces of pottery that old. But anyway, um, there you go. Find a few cool things. The big piece of pottery, pottery is a victory. That's nice. All this together. All of it together is a victory. All right, later.